everyone welcome back to our youtube channel today is just me again if you're new here my name is genesis and i run this channel with my husband so please feel free to check out our other videos don't forget to like and subscribe um <clears throat> now i do sound a little bit nasally still i'm recovering um still in quarantine i was feeling a little bored so i just thought I come on here and make a video. Um, for today's video, I wanted to try out some things that I've seen around on the internet, on the IG, you know, on the TikTok, Insta or YouTube, everywhere. I know I'm probably a little bit late to the game, but I still wanted to try those out and I just wanted to give my thoughts and like review on the things I'll be trying out today. So. The three things I want to try out are, first off, I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this around, but that's um, using the micellar water to um, turn like any, pretty much any eyeshadow into like a liquid eyeliner. So I've been really dying to try this out. I even got this new like makeup palette that I wanted to try out just because I do want to try out like different makeup styles. You know, I'm so used to doing like my old natural look. I really wanted to try out the um, like the bright eyeliner colors, but I didn't want to spend the money to buy like every single like shade of eyeliner. So when I saw this, I thought just buying like a makeup palette that had all these different colors might work well for this. So I'm really hoping that this works out well. The second thing I saw, um, I actually only saw one video of this. But that's um, using like this finishing hair cream, looks like this, um, to help tame some of these baby hairs. So I'm actually going to be working out after I do this first part of the video just to see how kind of this holds up um, along with like the liquid eyeliner thing. So it's, um, I guess it contains beeswax, jojoba oil, and some other ingredients. I can't remember who I saw using this, um, but I just wanted to see if it works well for that, like, what do you call it? That sleek, sleek hairstyle, <clears throat> whatever that's called. Um, but it comes like in a little tube like this, kind of like mascara. And the brush um, also does look like mascara, um, but the, <laughs> the product, a little like stringy kind of like hair gel um but not as thick and yeah it doesn't feel like sticky at all i just got some on my finger just now um but when i first opened this the packaging actually smelled kind of weird um i think i got this off of amazon it's just called finishing hair cream it looks like the brand is called best land i'm not really sure what that is but trying that out and then also seeing how it holds up against like working out when I start to get sweaty. I do have um, quite a few baby hairs. I'm sure you'll see. I haven't done my hair for this reason. Um, I don't know if they'll be misbehaving today because most of the time they are. I don't know if you can see. But I do have a lot of baby hairs. Um, I have my hair up in a ponytail almost, well, every day at work. Um, and my baby hairs are always out of control. That's why I wear like a little cap. <clears throat> and then the third um, product I'll be using is this, um, what do you call it? Like this heatless curls looking thing. I know it became really popular after um, Euphoria when she saw turning, what's her character's name? Cassie, the Cassie? I don't remember. I've only seen like part of the first season of Euphoria. Don't come at me. I don't have HBO anymore. So that's why I haven't watched it. But I'm really excited to try this since I tend to curl my hair a lot. Well, on the weekends when I want to like look a little bit more dressed up and not like this. Um, so I'm excited to try that out. So I'll probably try this tonight after I finish taking a shower. Um, I think your hair yeah, has to be slightly damp. So I have to blow dry my hair a little bit or maybe I'll take an earlier shower today just to allow my hair to dry. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, but 
this thing. Um, I did get it off of Amazon as well. Okay, so let's get started with that eyeliner. Eyeliner hack, I guess you want to call it. I was looking for a different kind of brush, but the only one that I found is this one. It's a little bit angled, so hopefully I'm able to do a good eyeliner with this. But just a heads up, I am horrible, horrible with doing like the cat eye or applying like eyeliner. Just I think it has to do with like my eye shape, like the wings never come out even. Maybe it's because I also don't practice that often, but normally I try not to do the wing. I usually just do um, my lash line. So that's probably what I'll be doing today. And for the palette that I got, um, it's Norvina. It's this one right here. I got it because it has a lot of really nice looking colors. It's supposed to be for face and body, so I think you can also use it as like body paint, maybe. Let's open this up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, nice. It comes with a nice large mirror there. So that'll definitely come in handy. But these are the colors. If you can see, yeah. They're all bright colors. I'm really looking forward to like the light blue ones, like periwinkle looking ones. So that's my color there. Okay, let me grab my eyeliner brush. So I think all you do is just dip it in the, the micellar cleansing water. Uh, this is a tip. This is a tip. Does the cap come off? Let's see. Oh, I don't think the cap comes off. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit of this in the cap just to make it a little bit easier to dip. There we go. Uh. I'm a mess over here, and I guess that's what happens when you're sick. Okay. So I'm dipping it in. Let's see, and I'm gonna go ahead and... Uh, it's, I feel like it's such a shame to like mess up this nice untouched palette. Okay, so I wanna try this C2 one that looks more like the periwinkle. So let's dip it in there. Ooh, let's see how pigmented that is. Let me try it on my, on my hand first. How does that look? Mm, it still feels kind of powdery. Looks like it's just kind of watering it down a little bit. It's not as pigmented as I thought it was gonna be. Hope I don't, I don't ruin this. Okay, maybe I'll try a darker color. That one didn't really seem to work that well. And I don't wanna continue to like ruin that color because I really like it. <laughs> so let's try, but anyways, this is what it looks like. Like that's the, the one um, with the micellar water and that's just the powder. So it doesn't really feel like it really did anything. So I'll, let me do a color that I feel like I'm not gonna really use that much. Okay, so what I'm gonna try and do is instead of dipping the brush in the micellar and then in the actual palette, I think I'm just gonna put a little bit of powder on here and then a little bit of the micellar on there. This time I'm gonna try a different color. Let's try this purple one that I feel like I'm not gonna use that much. So I'm gonna put just a little bit on here and I'll, then I'll mix it in, in my hand so that way I don't ruin the whole palette. Mm, I don't really feel like it's working that well. But let's go ahead and put it on our eye, see how it applies as eyeliner. Okay, sorry, I'm gonna have to use the mirror <laughs> to try this out. Oh, actually, actually, it looks like it is working. Oh yeah, yeah, look at that. I don't know if you can see, but it actually does look like, like it's eyeliner. Hmm. I think this works better mixing it in my hand than the actual palette. I didn't really want to continue to ruin this 
brand new palette, so let's see. Hey, I'll try this method on this eye and then I'll try just um, without using the micellar on the other eye, see how it looks. Okay, let's do just the powder here. So I got my, the brush pretty dry there. Okay. Okay, let's go in with just the powder. Okay. Okay. I mean, honestly, it looks about the same. It was definitely a lot easier to apply. When there was a little bit of the micellar water in there, maybe I got a little too much. Maybe I should wipe the brush off a little bit better. Tomorrow when I reveal what that um, Healy's curler looks like, then um, I'll go ahead and try a, like a different color to see if it looks any better. But yeah, that's, you know, again, I was expecting a little bit more. I don't really know why. Well, why I was expecting like a bigger reaction of myself on this, but I'm not disappointed. Um, I think it's really gonna help add a little bit more color to I guess my makeup even if I just wanted to do like a simple eyeliner like this. So. Next thing I'm going to try is the hair finishing cream. So I'm going to go ahead and work out and before I get in the shower today I'll show you guys see if it held up against my workout and the sweat. How are those baby hairs looking? I have some there, some sticking out. It's probably hard to see with the background too. <clears throat> but maybe I'll see if I can maybe comb some out so you can see. So of course, before I started recording, like you could see all my baby hairs, but now it looks like they wanna behave now that I actually need them to misbehave. So let me pull some forward little bit so you guys can see and then I'll use the little there you go you could definitely tell my baby hairs or see my baby hairs in my last video where I was talking about my oral hygiene routine so if you want to see how bad my flyaways my baby hairs are just go check out that video so here <laughs> here they are Sometimes they're really stubborn and because I do have wavy hair, some of the baby hairs closer to my scalp get really curly. So in the past I've used like hairspray, I use gel and that just makes it worse. Um, so usually if I put hairspray, it just like, you know, basically hardens it. So they're just sticking out even more after putting bobby pins, but then the bobby pins slide off. So it's, it's a mess. So let's go ahead and try this. Okay, as you can see, just like that gel consistency. Okay. Let's try a little bit here. Mm -hmm. Not bad. And it's not, it's not sticky. Doesn't it make my hair feel crunchy or anything? Hmm. Not bad. Hmm? How does that look? Looks <laughs> like I'm going bald. I don't I can't pull off that like sleek back like ponytail look. I don't know how you girls do it. No props to you, but if you need a product, I think this might actually help with that. Huh? Oh, how does that look? No baby hair is in sight. Okay, now we'll see how it holds up to to sweat and my intense workout. Well, probably won't be too intense <clears throat> since I still have like this chest and cough problem going on but um i know i will be doing like a vlog of this workout maybe ab or arms or something like that so i don't think i'll be doing that much jumping but i do sweat a lot so we'll see we'll see how this how this holds up hopefully the baby hairs just don't start to <laughs> pop out again okay so i just got done 
with my workout and that um finishing hair cream as you can see didn't really hold up against my workout um you can still see some of the baby hair started to become undone um but the eyeliner still is looking pretty good i did watch another video uh, where it's a makeup, art makeup artist and she talked about how you could really ruin your palette by using that micellar water so she recommended using a setting spray but the thing is like when she used it she also didn't spray her like palette with that she used um i don't know i've seen a lot of makeup artists use this little glass thing so she just put a little bit of the eyeshadow and then she sprayed it with the setting spray she used that so i mean you could do it either way but i'll try the setting spray to see if it maybe makes it look a little bit more pigmented but yeah now i'm gonna go ahead and take a shower i'll allow my hair to dry a little bit and then i'll go ahead and do that heatless curler okay so stay tuned for that <laughs> okay so my hair is not as wet now it's mostly just damp which the instructions say you want your hair to be slightly damp and I did brush my hair already so let's go ahead and open this looks like this comes with some hair scrunchies to tie up the ends of your hair and it also comes with this nice clip here it's a little uh, oh, it's a little hard to <laughs> to open there. Well, that's good. You know, it's going to be a tight grip. The way <clears throat> she has it positioned in that picture is like this. I feel like it be a, maybe it's a little bit long. Okay, so I have it like this. Then it says fix the middle position of the curling roller with the hair clip on the top of the head. So maybe like this. I guess you're supposed to grab a little bit of your hair maybe. Okay. Okay, let's put this in half. So I guess I'll, ha I'll grab some hair like this it looks like. And then, so it's kind of like braiding it so i guess i'll grab a piece of new piece of hair every time I'll put it over like this i don't know what we will see bring it all the way down and then i guess you put the scrunchie around here let's do it like this Try and fold this down and put the scrunchie over. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just going by what I'm seeing on the camera. Sorry for all those facial expressions. Okay. Now let's go on this side. I think I can take this off now. Yeah, there we go. I hope this doesn't move around while I'm sleeping. Okay. Here we go. That's the <laughs> finished look. Now I just gotta leave this on while I sleep. I'll catch you guys in the morning with the final results. So we'll see. Okay, so it's morning now. Um, I'm ready to take this off did find that it was pretty comfortable um, to sleep in, but I also did take a NyQuil last night just so I can sleep through the night without coughing. Um, but overall, this is this is pretty pretty comfortable. I did have some hair that started to come out of place, so we'll see how this looks. What I'm worried about is that it's going to be like super like poofy on the bottom and then just like flat on the top but I'm glad to see okay here we go I think I just pull this top off it came out pretty easy let's see 
yeah it's just like pretty pretty poofy on the bottom but it's not too bad on the bra let's see we might have to comb it through okay let's comb it through a little just so we can get more waves in this poofiness but yeah overall it's actually not not too bad i think you know, if you want to look somewhat put together, you can always use this to get those those waves in there. I'm not mad at it. It's not bad. It does give you like more of those natural waves. Um, yeah, I think next time I am definitely gonna start up a little bit higher and maybe um, try to pull it tighter a little bit more just so I can get at least some more waves up here to get a little done here it's not too bad yeah and if you want to look a little bit more put together like maybe if I would even put a like a headband or something like that I think that would also be a nice look yeah definitely recommend that one so I'm gonna go ahead and try that eyeliner trick that eyeshadow eyeliner trick again but I'm going to use um setting spray this time see if i notice a difference so definitely the setting spray doesn't work that well but if you guys have tried it and it's worked for you like let me know let me know your secrets again maybe it's just <clears throat> maybe it's just the palette that i got um that's not as pigmented or maybe this just <laughs> doesn't work but if you guys have found Another hack to make your like eye eyeshadows, you know, more you know, to be able to like liquefy them in a way to make that liquid eyeliner. Please let me know. I would really like to try it out. Okay, and yeah, again, uh, most of these. Mm, I know we know the eyeshadow one didn't work. Um, the heatless curler, I think it did. I think it just it gave me to wrap it a little bit tighter. And then that finishing hair cream, um, I think it does work, um, but you just have to probably keep on reapplying it just to make sure the baby hairs don't come out. But again, my baby hairs are really stubborn. It's really hard to keep them down. So I think I would also just really recommend that one. Um, but yeah, if you guys um, have any other I guess hacks that you've seen on the internet that you've tried that worked really well please let me know I'd really be interested in trying them out um if you like this video please like and subscribe or if you didn't and you have any other like tips on what i could have done better you know i just started doing this so any tips would be really helpful any constructive criticism okay just keep that in mind constructive but yeah anyways you know i hope you know, if you guys liked any of these that you maybe like try them out. If you do, let me know how you like them. Okay, thank you guys for tuning in. Please take care, be safe. I'll catch you guys with the next one. Bye.